Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, just going to do the uh, uh, mod, so capacitor mod to this uh, Neo Geo ES. If you look at the uh, the black on white there, where the Neo Geo logo comes up, you can see some like striations or something to the sides, like a bit like ghosting. You look at the size of the Neo Geo. Did you see the little lines coming out? It's like a different shade of white with or grey, I guess. Um, I'm going to see whether this the caps the cap mod makes any difference to that. Um, the other thing you'll notice is when the game starts, if you look down the left hand side of the image, um, you've got a perfect straight line down the left hand side there. Just watch um, in a minute, I forget where it is, it looks straight there, but it sort of curves. Might be when I start the game. Yeah, that looks alright. That looks alright. See there, the bottom, bottom left, it's like a little curve, just sort of here. Other than that, the picture's pretty good really, so we'll see what difference the caps make. So all that's involved in this mod, uh, it's swap out the red, green, blue and sync. Um, I think it's probably those four capacitors there, uh, two, three, four, five. Um, I've seen some people swap out that one as well, so I'm not sure. They're all 100 microphone, and what you do is swap them out with 470, so these are slightly larger. Um, they're a good make though. Um, I can't see the manufacturer on these now. But anyway, the, the low ESR, um, you know, good quality caps. Um, so, first thing I need to do is just remove those four in the middle. Right, so what I ended up doing is replacing all five of those there. I think they were 100 microfarads and bumped them up to 470s. Um, it's not the cleanest to work in the sense that you can tell they're quite large packages, these, and you know, just due to that, the, you know, they're sort of, um, they're not totally straight up at 90 degrees from the board. They're just sort of, you know, out in a bit of a sort of a fan arrangement there, but they're well soldered. Um, you know, you wouldn't be able to tell I've even replaced those other than the fact they don't look right on the, on the board there, but um, that's done the trick, if I show you. On the screen now, just bear with me a sec. Just so the cam covered up here. If I just reset this, if you watch the white on black on the when the Neo Geo splash screen, the ghost has gone completely on the Neo Geo logo there. Um, and the other problem I was having. Um, look, this side here was sort of like wavy, sort of, you know, it was certainly here, it was like, it was, we're looking there now, sort of bent in, and that's all that problem there was just totally gone, it's been cleaned up by swapping out those caps. It was evident actually on this screen here, you had a, like a, where the, that blue is there, it was all wavy, and now it's totally straight. So that has uh, solved the problem I was having with that, so just start this, just make sure it looks all right while it's playing, you see there? Total straight, you know, this edge here is just straight all the way down. Um, and it's the same on the other side. There's no distortion or anything going on that there was previously with those 100 microphone caps. So it's interesting, it's an interesting fix. Um, not sure whether that just applies to new, more modern TVs or whether it was a design issue. But you see there as well, there was loads, of, on previously, there was loads of wobbling, um, and even sometimes on the main game screen here as well. But that's uh, it's looking sweet now. Yeah, really pleased with that. So the other thing, whilst I'm here, um, I'll just show you um, under the uh, under the board where I actually solved the um, shielding issue on the last video because I didn't quite show it. So just bear with me. So if I just pull the board out of here, you'll see it's not screwed in at the moment. It's just while I've been testing there, um, that's exactly what I did. I cut all these pieces of clear PVC down to size and use a piece of double sided tape under it and they're in sections so there are a few gaps like this around these screws here where the shielding yes you know it's, it's bare metal but the main thing is it, there was a problem here because you know as I showed you know and I flattened that you can tell it's a hell of a lot more flat than it was but there were massive ripples here and there were massive ripples over here so as that stands now as you can see it's totally flat it's isolated from the board uh, for the most part you know there's still some bits around the edges here and stuff that still show but um, one of the things, and I didn't explain it very well, I, I don't know, I got the wrong word to describe, but basically where the shielding connects to the ground, 
Um, that was the point where I noticed this problem first, as soon as you put the screw through the main board into that shielding. Um, because as you can see, if you look at the main board there, you've got a you know a, a connection point there that connects to ground. As soon as that that screw went in, that was it. That was when the problem started. Where it was, uh, you know, there was some graphical uh, like noise or something. Certainly when you had the diag bars in. But uh, you know, since I've done this work, this has been perfect. It's been absolutely rock solid. There's not a fault with this Neo Geo at all. Um, I'm now going to uh, reassemble it and stuff because. Um, we're all done, there's nothing else to do on this now, I'll use this for playing games, I've got a couple of AES games on the way so I'll show you those uh, when they come. Um, I guess one final thing to note here is I've strained up this uh, coil as well because the wires um, were sort of pushed around a little bit and stuff and it wasn't, um, they weren't lined lined up very well the way that is now, it's totally straight on the board and uh, it, it needs a bit of glue really, I'm surprised that's not glued down but I'm not, uh, not going to disturb it further. Um, but uh, yeah, really pleased with this. Um, anyway, if you want to, let's say, improve the video quality on a first gen AES, you know, you need four, five uh, 470 microfarad caps to replace uh, in that position there. And I'll just show you the work underneath there so you can see it's uh, a tidy job. Um, where are we? Yeah, so here are the points here. Um, There's still a tiny, tiny bit of flux there. Um, I've not been able to get off, but as you can see, the, yeah, they just look just as they did originally, really. This, uh, no damage or anything there. It's just annoying how I couldn't find smaller caps, but I went, um, you know, there were smaller ones, but they were cheap quality, you know, sort of, uh, you know, I don't know, 10% tolerance ones and stuff, and they weren't low ESR. Um, so, you know, the ones I've got now, they're a really good brand. They cost me something like £6 for eight. They were quite expensive, um, just based on the fact that they've got a very low tolerance, um, higher temperature. I think they, they might be 105 or 85, I'm not sure actually. Uh, da, 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 can't tell, can't see on them. But anyway, they're a good brand, good quality. So yeah, I'm not too fussed with the fact they're in a little fan arrangement there because they're, they're not going to, you know, they're making good connection with the board. I'm not likely to ever go in this again, really, other than to update the UniBIOS perhaps in years to come. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.